All right, I finally did it. These tires have been heavily requested and I got my hands on the new Continental Gravity Line um, Cryptotol front and uh, Zynatol in the rear. So I've been pretty reluctant to try these tires because um, they, they don't offer um, any variables in terms of uh, rubber compounds in each of the casings so I was a little bit nervous to try them in the trail casing just because they come in the endurance compound which is kind of firm to the touch um, it's maybe slightly firmer than like a Max Terra um, just in terms of how it feels in my hand so this is the Cryptotol front we got the um, trail casing endurance compound and uh, for trail riding um, in terms of feel, so that, that, would, that was back to why I, I've been kind of reluctant to try. I really wanted to try soft compound in the trail casing. Um, I really like the weights on these tires. I didn't put it on a scale. I haven't put anything on the scale in a long time, but um, just off, based off the weights on the website, 1,040 grams for each tire. So that's totally respectable. Um, in terms of the sidewall casing, seemed really stiff when I pulled them out of the box. Um, feels like an XO plus to me. Um, so at 10 or 1,040 grams, uh, I'm happy with that. Um, so this setup's actually a little bit lighter than the XO plus Asagai dissector um, I've been running lately. And yeah, I'm 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 pretty pumped on it. Both both in a 2.4, they seem I I don't know where my calipers are, but they look just a touch narrower than my 2.5 Asagai. So probably right at 2.4. Um, maybe a 2.45 would be my guess. Uh, they look rather beefy. So at first look, really happy with the logos. I think they look killer. Uh, I like the orange color. I like the, the designs they have on the side of these. Um, they're just, they look nice, they look unique. Um, there's the other end of them. Get you your trail casing, endurance compound, trail riding. Um, I like the font. So it looks very, very similar to like uh, Asagai. Um, you got 323 pattern, um, just like the Asagai. These knobs are really deep and they're kind of hooked right here on the edges. Um, they bite in pretty good. I mean, feels like a Max Terra to me. Um, very similar to a Max Terra. Um, but yeah, lightweight, um, great, great profile. Um, not too square, not too round right in the middle, I think right where you want to be. And they were a little bit, I, I will say they're a little bit hard to uh, beat up. Usually I can get a Maxxis right on with a floor pump on these rims and um, 30 mil internal NV AM30 rims for those interested. Um, really nice profile on them. I like that they're not too round. I like that they're not too flat. My big gripe with a lot of people like the Specialized Butcher, that tire is just a little bit too flat for me. Um, this is just right about, very similar to an Asagai. So um, knobs look a little bit deeper than an Asagai, but that's just just based on looks. Um, that that front tire grips. I've only got a handful of rides on them, but it it grips a lot better than I was expecting. That harder rubber compound made me a little bit nervous, um, but so far haven't had any issues. Um, Zynatol 2.4 in the rear. So this is a hard pack tire, a uh, great option as a rear tire, uh, trail casing, uh, endurance compound, trail riding, 2.4. Um, I really like the boxes that these come in, real nice presentation, nice package. So this tire is killer. Um, kind of reminds me of maybe a dissector mixed with like an aggressor. Um, it's kind of what I wanted the aggressor, the 2.3 aggressor to be. Um, it's extremely fast rolling. I think this rolls faster than the Asagai Dissector combo or the Asagai Aggressor combo. Um, both of these together. A um, little bit lower profile tread on this. The harder rubber compound makes these tires roll really, really well. This might make a run as my new favorite rear tire. I've been really impressed with this. Um, rolling speed, grips. At corners, in, in terms of grip in the corners, I haven't got this thing to break loose that much. And I can, I mean, I can get it to break loose when I want to, but 
but it's locked in when I need it to be. It's got more traction than the 2.3 Aggressor. Probably doesn't bite quite as hard as a Dissector, but pretty close. Um, weight's good on it too, so yeah, I'm, we'll see. So this is the first tire combo that I've went out and rode and uh, didn't just want to immediately take them off and put my Maxxis tires back on. So this is promising. I I like it. I like them. I'm going to keep this kind of short video because, um, you know, I don't have a lot of time on them, but we'll see. And the reason I'm doing this video is I think there's potential in these tires and moving forward. And now I, I don't plan on taking them off right now. I'm going to get some more rides in on them. Weather's finally starting to turn. And uh, we're going to go from there. And, you know, as a my opinion might change as the weather dries out and as it gets drier and dustier, you know, that's when sometimes I notice certain characteristics in the tire that I like or don't like. So we're going to leave them on. I think they're promising. Stay tuned and let's find out if these are going to stay on my bike and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, Continental, Cryptotal front, Zynatal rear, um, trail casing I think is a great combo so far. Get down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think of these new tires because I'm, I'm still unsure, but I, I like what I see uh, and I like what um, I've felt so far from them. As always, uh, shout out to the Silk Cloud, Isaac, San Diego, Tribal Gear. That's all for today. See you.